Most people don't get this right. They're always asking, how do I do it? How do I do it? And they get caught in the process. If you want to create magically, if you want to create something you've never created before, you don't know how. Many creators get themselves in a big challenge because of this one thing. They don't clearly understand how to use the wisdom process. So the first thing you must understand is to ask what, not how. Most people don't get this right. They're always asking, how do I do it? How do I do it? And they get caught in the process. You do not know how you're going to do it most of the time. If you want to create magically, if you want to create something you've never created before, you don't know how. So you must think what. So the first and most important thing is what do I want to create? One of the hardest questions to ask. Be a wanter, not a needer. See, in life, most of us, we've got what we need. Roof over our head, you know, people around us, food on the table. You know, we got what we need. So we must shift to become wanters. If you want to be a creator, you get to want. You want to create uh, an amazing charity. You want to write a book. You want to start a business. You want to have more money than you can spend. You want a different body shape. You want these things. That Be a wanter. You're not a needer. So when you become a wanter, the first thing is you must decide what you want. So imagine that you're sitting down at a universal restaurant. As you sit down at this universal restaurant, every chef that ever existed for, for the whole of humanity is there and you can have anything you want. Now the thing is, is if you're like me, you're gonna go, what am I gonna choose? And that's kind of like life, you know, we can choose anything we want and get this, you can have anything you want off that menu, but you can't have everything. Because one of the things you want is to not feel stuffed and full and you wanna enjoy your food. So, you know, you're sitting at this, this amazing restaurant and you might pick, you know, a starter or two and maybe a main dish with some sides. But you have to choose those and then you maybe you have a dessert or not. But after that, you don't really want any more. That's what you want. You want that. And so that's what we have to realize in life. We don't want everything. We can have everything, uh, but we, we can't, we, we can have anything. We can't have everything. And so we can want it, but we must then decide. And so this is what I mean. The first thing you must do is decide, okay? As a creator, you first must choose and get clear on what you want. Now, once you get choose on the what, what do you want? A lot of people then go, okay, so that's what I want. Well, Chris, I don't know how I'm going to do it. We always get stuck in the how. So first think what, not uh, how. Uh, and then second, instead of thinking how, think who. See, most of the time, there is a who out there that is going to help you. So there is a who. There is somebody that you can pull in that has knowledge, that has resources, that has time, that has ability, that has skills, that's going to help you create that. Nearly every single big creation that you're going to have, whether it's changing your body shape, um, creating a, a new family, uh, building a new house, uh, you know, traveling, whatever it is, there is a who. There's someone else that can help you on this journey. And so what you must realize is, is first think what, not how. And then not how, but who. And this is where you can become magic. So you get to be the designer of outcomes and pull in people that can give you knowledge and experience and skills and talents to help you get out there and manifest and create. See, when you're creating, there's, there's four C's of creating. Okay, the first is clarity, right? You gotta get clear on what dish you actually want. Now, the second is commitment. You must actually commit to it. You must say, you know what? I am actually going to have this food. I commit to this house. I commit to this business. I'm going to commit. You must go all in. Just getting clear on it isn't enough. You've got to commit. Now, as soon as you commit, if it's really, truly magic and something that you're going for that's outside of anything you've ever done before, you're not going to know how. So then the third is you must have courage to let go. So third C is courage, right? So first you, uh, clarity, commitment, courage. You must get courage. <coughs> you must have courage to overcome who you've been. You must have courage to go and find the who's. You must have courage, right, to, to go and actually uh, do that. Now, what's interesting is when you have the courage to let go of who you've been and the courage to pull in a who, a teacher, a mentor, a coach, a consultant, uh, you know, a, a team, uh, people with skills, you know, an advisor, I don't know, a who, they're a book even, you find the who. Now, the last thing is as you do that, the capability you need shows up. That's the last C. So first you get clear, then you get committed, then you make sure you have the courage to go for it. And the last is courage shows up. Courage shows up. Uh, sorry, uh, you have the courage and, and uh, capability shows up. That capability, see, you didn't know how. 
And so as you make the commitment and you get in that tension structure and you go for what you want and you're clear and you're committed and you're courageous and you're going for it and you don't know how, the capability, the how shows up. It shows up, you'll get a book that will show you how to do it. It shows up in a person who knows how to do it. A team, a sk- it shows up for you and suddenly you have the capability to implement what it is that, you know, only a while ago you're like, I don't know how and you were, but see, if you didn't have the commitment and the clarity and then the courage, you don't get the capability, you don't get to find the who, you don't get to get the knowledge or the person. So I want you to really get this, when you're creating magically, ask what, not how, and then not how, but who. Get clear on what you want, get committed, have courage to go for it without needing to know and know the capability is gonna show up in you and in other human beings. I hope you enjoyed it, see you in the next session.